today's video I want to bring you my holiday luxury haul um, I've been waiting because there were other things that I wanted to share with you guys but I will just bring you that in a haul next month so I figured let me hurry and do this haul so that I can start using one of the items I'm going to show you so if you'd like to see what I've gotten recently please keep watching okay so I'm calling this my holiday haul because these were things that um, I got for Christmas the holiday season so the first thing I want to share with you guys is actually something that I'm wearing now and I'm going to take them out so you guys can see this is actually my first jewelry piece from David Yearman I'm going to annotate the exact name of these earrings down below let's see if you guys can see what they look like I believe they're some sort of some sort of cable stud but yeah this is what they look like so a couple of you guys have actually noticed that i am no longer wearing pearls in every video uh pearls are just my thing they're my signature i love a good pearl it's just effortless and you can wear it with everything but i did want to get some more everyday earrings because I mean, I will wear my pearls to the gym, but that's just how I am. Uh, I did want to get a more casual earring. I actually wanted to get more into David Yearman. This is the box that they came in. Uh, they came from Nordstrom. This is just what they looked like. I actually wanted to get more into David Yearman because I have a lot of Tiffany jewelry, but I'm just not really into Tiffany anymore. I don't know why I think I've just outgrown it um, but David Yearman has more simplistic pieces that don't scream David Yearman so I think I'm gonna start getting more into David Yearman so yeah these are the earrings I love them they are simple but still sophisticated very nice for just every day they're not huge like my pearl earrings were um, and a couple of you guys have noticed them so yes that is my first piece and so far I'm loving them I do need to get a David Yearman polishing cloth so that I can polish them but it's nice to have an earring that's a little smaller that I can just wear every day and not feel so dressed up so yeah that was the first thing that I got for Christmas and the second thing let me actually put it in the dust bag because I want to properly reveal it for you guys let's see hold on So the second item that I got Balenciaga and it is pre-loved you guys know that I always talk about how I love shopping pre-loved uh, I like the hunt and if you've been following my channel for a while or we talk personally you know that I've been wanting a bag just like this for a long time uh, I do have two Balenciaga bags I think you guys would have seen one in my pre-owned part one collection which I will link down below but I do have two Balenciaga bags and I like them but they're just not exactly my preference so I don't technically use them and so when I saw this pop up on fashion file I did get it from fashion file I was just like blown away so happy so enthused and I had to pull the trigger I also got it for a really 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 great price I will list that price down below so this is the bag I got Balenciaga let's open it up oh you guys I'm so happy and I'm also very happy because I haven't used this back because I wanted to do an unboxing or reveal with you guys and take the tag off so I can finally wear it so I got the Balenciaga City no that's a lie this is the Balenciaga work this is in the color vermilion I believe it's like a let me scoop back it's like a reddish orange this is what the bag looks like I am in love with this guys let me bring a city bag in here okay so this is the Balenciaga work and this is the Balenciaga city 
Now, the reason why I wanted to get a work is because this bag is just a little too small for my frame. And they actually have this exact color, I believe, on the website right now, which I really want to pull the trigger and get it, but I'm trying to be good. But yeah, I decided to go for the work because it's a larger bag. I also really like this pop of color. It's very, very bright. Now, because this bag was so well loved, I did get a really great price on it. And pretty much the only wear that that kind of puts me off are these corners can you guys see them they are a little dark but you honestly can't tell that much and truthfully I wanted this bag in this color I really didn't care what condition it was in as long as it looked nice the balenciaga work and city styles tend to be bags that are more worn in that's just the look of them so i really really love this bag it's super large inside it doesn't come with a shoulder strap like the city does but i don't mind so this is what the interior looks like it just has a black lining and it came with a fashion file dust bag and also you guys know fashion file if you buy something at the beginning of the year they'll send you a calendar i can't wait to start using that and then i also have a thank you little card and then i have my information for my purchase in here so yeah that's pretty much all there is to this balenciaga work bag i could actually wear it today with what i have on i just cannot wait to start wearing this bag a balenciaga work bag and a pop of color has been on my wish list for years because I just love a slouchy bag that's in a pop of color I like my handbags to be kind of like opposite I like them to give some sort of juxtaposition so if I have a really structured bag and a large bag I like it in a darker color if I have a very soft um casual type bag i like it to pop i like really tough styles with lots of metal and hardware and little dainty colors i just i kind of like that juxtaposition i just think it's nice for a handbag and i'm obsessed with this a couple of you guys um saw me put this on instagram weeks and weeks and weeks ago and i actually shared this with some of you who specifically asked what i got so yeah your girl cannot wait to start using this i'm just so happy that i finally found the balenciaga bag that i have wanted for years and honestly guys it was such a great price i was like you know what let me just pull the trigger and i love it there were a couple of other bags that i wanted but of course they're always sold out so i am starting to lean away from louis vuitton because every time i want something it's sold out and when i want something i want to get it right then and there i don't really want to wait <laughs> so I am really just enjoying the pre-loved market and why not get more bang for your buck and specifically with Balenciaga if you don't mind a worn in look in my opinion I just wouldn't spend retail price because you can get them for like 70 or 80 percent off and that's what I would rather do so yeah I'm going to link all the information down below I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me sharing my new acquisitions with you guys this is probably the first luxury video I've done all year that features new things I'm going to try not to go crazy this year but as my birthday is going to be quickly approaching there are already a couple of things on my wish list that I want to knock out but I'm dedicating this year to get rid of some bags that I don't use and to add bags that I actually want a lot more to my collection so I've never showed a full handbag collection and I probably never will but I have a good seven bags that I don't use that I could part with and also some SLGs so um, I know this year as we're talking about finances and being smart with our money I'm really going to be recycling my handbags and when I say that I mean selling bags to get things that I would use a little more so that is how I'm going to fund a lot of my purchases because I'm just trying to be smarter with my money and also I want to have a well-rounded collection full of bags that I really use and enjoy and one thing that I can't say about this Balenciaga work bag is that I will really use this because it's a pop of color I don't have too much pop of color in my handbag collection so this year I also want to get away from the browns and the neutrals and add more color because I just think 
what's better than color <laughs> so i hope you guys enjoyed this video like i said i will leave all the information down below for you guys and if you have any comments or questions let me know i will of course do a balenciaga review slash what's in my bag on that work bag after maybe a month of using it uh, so i will let you guys know how i like that and i will see you guys in the next video bye